you have in your syllabus subject verb concord subject verb concord meaning subject verb agreement right uh i have this presentation a detailed presentation actually i had prepared this presentation for class 12th when they were giving their entrance test but still whatever is very important for you i'll take up that okay uh you subject verb agreement when we do first of all it is very important for you to understand what is a subject in a sentence look at these sentences the first sentence is the dog growls when he is angry now what is the subject here the dog why because the dog is doer the dog is doing an action what action the dog is doing growling uh, uh, uh similarly we say the child is playing with the ball now here the subject is the child the child is the doer what is he doing is playing right similarly if i say rita dances beautifully anmol can you tell me who is what what is the subject in this sentence rita dances beautifully subject rita right and what and is he uh, dance dance do you understand what is subject now the verb next to subject it is said subject and verb agreement meaning this verb should agree should be corresponding to the subject now when we say that the verb should agree with the subject meaning the number of the verb has to be according to the number of the subject how it is how it is number now i say that the dog growls but in the next sentence you see it says the dog's growl isn't it what it is the growls this form of the verb is changed in the next sentence why is it changed in the next sentence Yes, and more. Why is it changed in the next sentence? Why does it become growl instead of growls? Ma'am, because they is a, a plural word. Dog. Dog. The dog really? is a plural word. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. This is what you have to understand. Okay. Here it is growls because it is singular dog. Here it is growl because there are many dogs. the child plays with his ball plays is a singular verb because there is singular subject child but if i say children jump in the park now jump is a plural verb because children is a plural subject we can also say children play with their balls play is a plural verb because children is a plural subject i hope you understand that yeah. subject and verb they must agree in number there are many rules there are many rules of subject and verb agreement but this is the first and the most important rule what that subject and verb must agree in number if the subject is singular then the verb would be singular if the subject is plural the verb would be plural right the dog growls when he is angry the dogs growl when they are angry another example peter doesn't like vegetables now does is a singular uh, verb because peter is a singular subject now here the subject increases peter and paul there are two subjects so the verb is do not like vegetables peter and paul do not like vegetables does changes into do remaining meaning of the sentence it does not change do remember anmol the meaning of the sentence remains the same 
Nothing is changed. The vocabulary is also not changed. Only the number of the verb is changed according to the number of subject. Is that clear? Ma'am, it can be uh, Peter and Paul, uh, Paul don't like vegetables. Yes, yes, that is also correct. That's also correct. Just as I said, Peter doesn't. Peter and Paul don't. That is also right. Okay. okay ma'am. He doesn't understand the assignment. Doesn't because he is singular. Here one thing you will find. I don't understand the assignment. But they don't understand the assignment. With they, it is don't, the plural verb. But with I, the plural verb. Because I think you know very well that I and you, I is singular. You can be singular or plural. But with these two pronouns, we always use a plural verb. Yes, ma'am. Right? I play. We do not say I plays. I play, I eat, I walk, I jump, I sleep. Similarly, you try, you run, you catch, you dance, you sing. Isn't it? We don't know this you is singular or plural. But by default, we, are, we people are using a plural verb with the same. I hope it is clear. Yes, ma'am. Any query in this rule? No, ma'am. Okay. Now, here is a small practice for you. Where you have to supply a verb in agreement with its subject. All right. Yes. To take pay and then not to do work. Uh, just a minute. Uh, no, 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 no. This is not for you. This is not for you. Because it's above the level. Okay. Come to the next. Now, the next rule is subject and verb agreement with compound subjects. Now, compound subjects are when there are two subjects together with the use of the words and, or, nor, neither, nor, either, or, etc. Right? Just as, for example, recently you did Peter and Paul. So, it's compound subject. How? Because there are two subjects, right? So when we have compound subjects, then how we have to choose the verb? When we have compound subjects, meaning two subjects in the same sentence, then usually we take a plural verb. In particular, when it is we are using and and and, right? How it is, but in some cases it is different. If the combination of the two words is treated plural, then we use plural verb. If it is treated as singular, then we use singular verb. Here are the examples. Just try to understand. Aapko example se jala samaj mein aayega. Sugar and flour are needed for the recipe. Now sugar and flour, they are two different ingredients for a recipe. Right? So we are adding flour to sugar. So that's how sugar and flour, they are two subjects. So we are using the verb are. That is plural verb because subjects are plural, because compound subjects are plural. Pepperoni and cheese are great on a pizza. Pepperoni and cheese, these two are again essentials for a pizza. So again, it is plural, the verb. But here you see, corned beef and cabbage is a traditional meal in Ireland. Now try to understand. Corned beef and cabbage is a traditional meal. He does not say that corned beef and cabbage are used in a meal. It is just like, you know, in India we say, dal and roti is a perfect meal for lunch. Right? Yes, dal and roti is a perfect meal. Now, dal and roti, we do not take it as two different things. We take it as a course of meal only. So we take it as a singular subject only. However, there are two subjects, dal and roti. But these two combine as 
one subject. Isn't it? So that's why we, just as for example, we say dahi vada is a good snack, right? Or in our typical Hindi uh, version, if we say, if we say that, uh, uh, what do you call it? Puri chole is a great breakfast. We never say puri chola, chole are a breakfast because puri chole is one combination only. However, there are two subjects. I hope you understand. Yes, ma'am. So sometimes when these two compound subjects are there, but they make one, then it is used to what? Then it is used singular verb only. Just it has happened here. The creator and producer is arriving soon. The creator and producer, two subjects. But it refers to the same person. The same person is the creator and the producer. Right? If I say Shahrukh Khan, the producer and director of the film, is coming on the show. Why? Because Shahrukh Khan is the producer and he is the director as well. So when there are two subjects, but it is referred to the same person, then also it is treated as single and single verb is used. Is that clear? Abhi mein kuch exercises loongi na? To wo jab aap karoge, to aapko samaj mein a jayega. Chik hai? Okay, ma'am. Uh, yes. Now there is another kind of compound subject. This was and. The other one is the use of or or nor. In those cases, what is to be done? You see the first example. My mom or dad is coming to the plane. Here I have used singular verb. Why? My mom or dad. It is not so that either my mom or my dad. The point here is this very subject, which is the closest to the verb. If this subject closest to the verb is singular, the verb would be singular. If it is plural, then the verb would be plural. Now, dad is a singular subject. So, singular verb here. Mom is a singular subject. So, singular verb here. But if I say, if I say, uh, Anmol, my mom or grandparents dash coming to the play, what do you think I should mention then? Are uh, because grandparents is dear to the very uh, good, very correct, wonderful. This is what you have to understand, right? Because grandparents is the closest to this verb, so it has to be are, not my mom, and grandparents is plural, right? Okay, either grandpa or my sisters are going to the park. Now, the closest subject is plural. Which is the closest subject? My sisters. My sisters. That is plural. So, the verb is plural. Right? Either my sisters or grandpa is going to the park. Now, what is it? In the same kind of sentence, the verb is singular. Because the closest subject is? Grandpa. That is singular. Right? Okay. Neither she nor I am going to college. I is the closest subject, so it would be am. Now, if I say neither I nor she is, is going to college, very good. Because with she, we cannot use am, we will use is, right? Okay, neither gray nor white is my favorite color. Neither my dad nor my brothers know how to ski. No is a plural verb because brothers is plural. If I say neither my brothers nor my dad knows, knows how to ski. Why? Because now dad is the closest subject which is singular. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Right? So this is what you see that you, you have done. What? That the subject and verb, they should agree in number with each other. 
subject and verb they should agree with the compound subjects these two rules you you have learned today okay here i we will do uh, the exercises uh, the hot tea with tulsi ginger honey and black pepper dash improve the cough oh sorry yes hot tea with tulsi ginger honey and black pepper dash improve the cough i give you the word help now which verb which uh, number of the verb will you, will you use here helps helps correct why did you say helps because black pepper is singular yeah, very good very good and then also it is referring to the hot tea try to understand anmol here you know that subject is the hot tea tulsi ginger honey and black pepper they are not the subject because it says the hot tea with tulsi anyway if we remove tulsi ginger honey and black pepper then what is it going to be the hot tea helps improve the cough is that clear yes ma'am right okay now look at the next sentence the hot tea tulsi ginger honey and black pepper help help improve the cough why because now it is compound subjects it's not one subject of tea it does not say the hot tea with it says hot tea tulsi ginger honey all these help improve the cough is that clear okay yes. his daughter and his son dash him to move to florida his daughter and his son dash him to move to florida help him help him to move to florida the restaurant's chef and owner anyway this is not for your level all right mm -hmm. yes the macaroni and cheese yes the macaroni and cheese help where is it ma'am after then daniela uh, ma macaroni and cheese dash a favorite dish among children yes what do you think ma'am uh, macaroni and cheese uh, is r r sorry r r r a favorite dish uh, no but is is correct anmol is is correct you know why because here it is written a favorite dish so he is not talking about macaroni and cheese as separate ingredients he is talking of them as a dish just as i said that dal roti is a favorite meal right similarly macaroni and cheese is a favorite dish among children and then also you see that one thing is it is dish written here and then a article has also been used certainly it would be singular verb right you must read the sentence thoroughly you would definitely find the clues there right okay ma'am uh yes both shrey and i dash watching old movies m both shrey and i am watching old movies right okay uh yes james or john who is coming to the party is uh just a minute just a minute this me kuch pad raha hai
James or John knows who is coming to the party. James nor John knows who is coming to the party. James and John know who is coming to the party. Right? Now two and two. Two and two is four. No, it's it's a very common problem. Two and two make four. Right? Okay. Two and two make four. Fine. The same we shall continue tomorrow. All right. Okay, ma'am. Yes. If any problem. No, ma'am. If any, you must ask me. All right. Okay. Okay. I will select a little more because there are around, I think, more than 10 slides which you don't need. So according to your level, I will reduce it. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Fine. You can leave child now. Thank you, ma'am. Good yes. evening. Take care.